Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedi again. Today we're going to be learning how to print a mix in Pro Tools. So in the previous tutorial, we learned how to bounce a mix in Pro Tools. Now we're going to learn how to print a mix. So basically bouncing and printing, they pretty much do the same thing, which means creating a stereo um, file that has the whole contribution of all the tracks or... Uh, I guess we can just call it a mix, okay, stereo mix. Now, when you bounce, the the what Pro Tools does is that it creates the file and it's going to put it somewhere in your hard drive and you tell Pro Tools that specific location. Now, when you print, you're actually putting that file, that stereo file, you're making it within the Pro Tools session and putting it in the session and then if you want to have it, let's say, on your flash drive, you would have to export it from the session but it'll show within your session as another audio track. So how do we do that? Well, here we go. Um, here we have, and I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit horizontally. I have a little drum mix that I have created. Um, it's very short just for the purpose of demonstration. Let's go ahead and press play so you listen to what we have. Okay, so that's what we have. That's our current mix, okay? It's basically just drums. How do we print this mix to, to Pro Tools? Well, first thing we're going to have to do is create a new track, track new, and we're going to make it a stereo audio track, and we're going to call it print, print. There it is. I press create, and here is my print track. I'm going to go ahead and change the color to say green for example okay now I'm gonna do some routing so I want to go ahead and switch to my mix window you don't have to do it that way but I personally like um, doing everything that has to do with inputs and outputs in the mix window so what you want to do is your drum tracks you want to route them to an available bus okay so you want to so you want to set the output of these tracks to a bus bus that you're not using, okay, you want to make sure that it's available, that it's free, okay, and then you want to um, assign that output to the, to sorry, you want to assign the bus to the input of your print track. So how do you do that? Well, here's my kick track, okay, I'm going to send it instead of monitor left and right, which is where it is currently being sent, uh, I'm going to go ahead and click there and use a bus, let's say bus 7 and 8, you want to make sure that it's a stereo bus, by the way. 7 and 8. Then I have my snare top and bottom. They're actually going to a snare bus that it's hitting this snare aux. So this snare aux I'm going to send to bus 7 and 8. Bus 7 and 8. Then my tom track, tom 2, also bus 7 and 8. We're going to do the same for the hi-hat. Bus 7 and 8. And then overhead, I'm going to send it to bus 7 and 8. Um, so as you can see, the outputs are now bus 7 and 8, and then my print track, which is this green one, I'm going to set the input to bus 7 and 8. So what's happening here is, all my drums are going to that bus, that bus is carrying it, is carrying the, the sum, the stereo sum of all of those signals, and that bus is delivering that stereo sum into this new track, this audio track that we call print. So, next step, we're going to record enable our print track. We're going to go back to the edit window by going window edit. I'm going to go back to zero to start. I'm going to uh, enable, or I guess turn on the record enable, the global record, record enable button. And as soon as I press start, what's going to happen is that all of these tracks are going to be summed to stereo in the print track. So, so that's going to be my mix. Let's give it a shot. I'll press the space bar and the recording will start. As soon as I finish, I can press the space bar again. And it's done. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and go out of record enable on my print track. And just to make sure that everything got printed perfectly, I'm going to go ahead and solo it. Okay, go back to start and I'll press play so that we only listen to this print track. 
In theory, we should hear the same we were hearing before, but in a single stereo track. Let's give it a shot. And it worked. So this is your print or your mix, however you want to call it. Now, what's going on here? Well, it's, yes, we have a mix. Yes, we have a, a, a file because this is, a, even though this is a clip in Pro Tools, this is actually a file in your drive. But what if you want to share this with someone? You don't want to send the whole session. You want to send just the file associated to this clip. So how do you do that? Well, that's very easy. Once you have printed this, you can simply click on it to highlight it. And then if you are on a PC, you could do Control Shift K or Command Shift K if you're on a Mac. And this window will pop. Export selected. Make sure that when you do that, Control Shift K or Command Shift K, make sure that once again, the track has been highlighted by clicking on it. And as soon as this opens, this, this is the export selected window. So basically, everything that was selected will be exported. So here, this actually looks very close to the bounce to disk window that we had in the past, where we could select the file type, the format, bit depth, sample rate, and so on and so forth. So we're going to leave that as WAVE, 44.1, 16 bits, interleaved, which is the standard audio CD format. And here, I'm going to choose my destination to be the desktop. Open. And I'm going to export this. It is now exported. And if you want to double check that, I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And here is my print2, print underscore or o 2 dot wave. If I open this with my player, which in this case is VLC, there is my mix. So that is how you print a mix in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedia and PC Audio Labs and we're going to be happy to help you. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.